Hi my dear children welcome back to your max class hope all of you are doing well today we are going to continue the chapter letter math with the topic addition and multiplication here we are going to write relations using letters with addition and multiplication together let's start our class activity number 1 there are 25 children in one room and 35 in another five biscuits are to be given to each how many biscuits are needed what if the number of children are 20 and 40 first of all we have to find the total number of biscuits needed for 25 children in one room and 35 children in another room then we have to find out the total number of biscuits needed if the number of children are 20 and 40 then the total number of biscuits needed is equal to total number of children into number of biscuits for each total number of biscuits needed is equal to 25 plus 35 into 5 put 25 and 35 in brackets first we have to add 25 and 35 then multiply it with 5 25 plus 35 is equal to 60. Then 60 into 5 is equal to 300 biscuits. Is it clear for you? Next, we have to find out the total number of biscuits needed if the number of children are 20 and 40. Then the total number of biscuits needed is equal to 20 plus 40 into 5. First, we have to add 20 and 40. 20 and 40 is equal to 60 then 60 into 5 is equal to 300 biscuits next question if we take the number of children in the first room as f in the second room as s and the total number of biscuits as t in what all ways can we write the relation between f s and t what if each is given 6 biscuits instead of Five. Now we can write the relation as total number of biscuits is equal to number of children in the first room plus number of children in the second room into five. Now we can write the relation using letters as t is equal to five into f plus s or t is equal to five f plus five s. Then, if each is given six biscuits instead of five, then we can write the relation using letters as t is equal to six into f plus s, or it can be written as t is equal to six f plus six s. Is it clear for you? Next question: If the number of biscuits given to each is taken as b. In what all ways can we write the relation between f, s, t, and b? In the last question, we had given the value five and six to the number of biscuits. Here, we are assuming the letter b to the number of biscuits. Then, t is equal to b into f plus s, or t is equal to b f plus b s. Is it clear for you? Next, activity number two. The length of a rectangle is four centimeters and its breadth is three centimeters. The length is increased by two centimeters to make a large rectangle. We have to find what is the area of the large rectangle. And if the length is increased by three centimeters, what is the area of the large rectangle? Next, taking the length and breadth of the original rectangle as l centimeters and b centimeters, the increase in length as i centimeters, and the area of the large rectangle as a square centimeters, in what all ways can we write the relation between l, b, i, and a? Let's find out. It is given in the question that. The length of the first rectangle is 4 cm and breadth is 
3 cm. Here, the length of this rectangle is increased by 2 cm to make a large rectangle. Here, we have to find out the area of the large rectangle. You all know how to find the area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Then the area of the first rectangle is equal to 4 cm into 3 cm that is equal to 12 square cm. Now we have to find the area of the large rectangle. Here the length is increased by 2 cm and there is no change in the breadth. Then area of the large rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Here the length is 4 cm plus 2 cm and the breadth is 3 cm. Then 4 cm plus 2 cm is equal to 6 cm. Then 6 cm into 3 cm is equal to 18 square cm. Now we have to find the area of the large rectangle if the length is increased by 3 cm. How will you find it? If the length is increased by 3 cm, area of the large rectangle is equal to length into breadth that is 4 cm plus 3 cm is the length into breadth 3 cm. Then 4 cm plus 3 cm is equal to 7 cm. Then 7 cm into 3 cm is equal to 21 square cm. Next, taking the length and breadth of the original rectangle as L cm and B cm, the increase in length as I cm and the area of the rectangle as A square cm, in what always can we write the relation between L, B, I and A? We learned that Area of the large rectangle is equal to length plus increase in length into breadth. Then we can write the relation using letters as A is equal to L plus I into B or A is equal to L plus I B. Is it clear for you? This chapter is completed. I hope you all understood how to write relations using letters. In the next day, we will start the next chapter, statistics. Okay, thank you.